The Industrial Revolution, starting in the 18th century, had an important effect on transportation. Inventors worked on vehicles driven by steam engines. American engineer Robert Fulton had been working on a steamboat since 1803. After years without success in France, he returned to the U.S. in 1806 and continued his work in a shipyard in New York. Heading down the Hudson River between New York and Albany on the 17th of August 1807, the ship's first long voyage lasted 32 hours and covered a distance of 241 kilometers. The Claremont was the first operational steam-powered wooden paddle ship. Most of the structure was made of wood, except the steam engine itself and the sails. Later steamboats were mostly made of iron instead of wood. When we look around the deck of the ship, we can see the drums of the wooden wheels, the funnel for the boiler, the engine house, and the sails, as many of the first steamboats were reconstructed sailboats. The masts, the sails, and the funnels were fastened to one another and to the hull by strong wires. The Claremont was propelled by paddle wheels. The steam engine drove an axle with two paddle wheels attached to it outside the hull. The rotation of these wheels produced a thrust. Three to five blades were submerged at one time. The wheels were as large as possible so that they produced a higher speed. The Claremont had an average speed of 8 km per hour on its maiden voyage. It was used for passenger traffic from January 1808.